person who really knows about playlists is Rory Kesson Jones. Yeah, is he coming? Either the BBC's technology editor. He was just standing outside dressed as an android. Well, he was. He had, he had Google, Google Glass, Glass which, I, which I was reading today actually isn't going to be a thing anymore. They've it's been, not a thing. It's not going to be a thing. Um, but but he, he had it on his face. Rory thinks he's the AI robot from Ex Machina, although he doesn't look a, a, at all like Alicia Vikander. So, but, he, but that was what he was wearing, wasn't it? He was wearing a pair of glasses with a thing, which you say is now not a thing. Yeah, and it, had a, it was all lit it's up. up. From next week, the company will stop taking orders for the product, which was launched in the UK last summer at a cost of £1,000 each. Uh, with me now, our technology correspondent, Rory Kathleen Jones, to not only tell us more, but to demonstrate. Yes, I uh, wore this for a while last summer. I have to say I've got it out uh, of a cupboard to wear it again today for, for this news. This was an experimental product. It was launched amid huge fanfare, a lot of excitement. It is a very clever thing. It puts information in front of your eye. It's got a camera on board. I have to warn you, Julian, I'm actually filming you right now with it. Uh... Hello and a big welcome to Tech Tential. I've been wearing through the show so far a gadget... Uh, a gadget that has been incredibly high profile, but is about, it seems, to become obsolete. Here's a clue. Okay, class, record a video! Uh, but I think the key problem with it was the way it made you look. I don't know what you think of the way I look, but a lot of people said it makes you look daft. If people are going to wear it, it's got to look right. I just think it's really weird. Why would you do that? I want to talk to Rory, not the cyborg. Me too. I want to talk to the man inside, behind the glass.